Hey, it's Blake here, and things have been getting kind of dull at the warehouse. Spring cleaning, you know, I wouldn't say it's clean in here, but uh, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best to work at it. And uh, in in the 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 vein of uh, of fresh starts and cleaning things out, I am relaunching the zero to 10K challenge that I first did like three or four years ago, but I'm giving it a bit of a twist. It's now a 10 to 10K challenge, and it's focusing less on like finding free things you can sell and more on the path of my money as it grows and grows and grows, because honestly, I think most of you probably care about that. And as I have matured as a seller, I think I can offer a bit more uh, insight into like that that process. Um, I have the spreadsheet of all this stuff on my website. You can have that for free. It's simple, but I like it. It works. So here's how we are doing it. Here's our four rules. Rule number one, starting off with $10, I returned a hundred pop cans you know, $10 right there. Rule number two, I am using my existing account. So I'm using my Amazon account, my eBay account, my Facebook marketplace account, which is just my, my Facebook profile. Uh, and there's also gonna be an option for like local sales. I doubt I'll do many of those, but you know, just in case. However, even though I'm using my existing accounts, I'm not gonna be selling anything that a beginner can't sell. So no Sony on Amazon, no DVDs on Amazon, none of my like regular, you know, bread and butter stuff that I normally sell uh, in my regular business, I'm focusing more on like eBay flips or the kind of things you can sell fast on Amazon or, you know, Facebook Marketplace or whatever it is. Because again, I think that's more helpful for beginners or people who are kind of like new to this and want to learn how exactly to have a lucrative side hustle. Because Unless I otherwise state it, I'll be using mostly stuff like this to ship it out, just like recycled materials. And rule number four, or is that the fourth rule? Rule number five, whatever the next, the next thing I want to say is if you want to do this too, feel free to follow along. Uh, that being said, this is actually like two days after I started the challenge, but I, I screwed up the intro. So go back in time to me in a thrift store to see the things I just bought. And then we'll, you know, go forward after that. Enter into the Salvation Army, Fortress of Doom. Just kidding. Anyways, what was I doing there? Uh, so this is a Samsung Blu-ray player over our limit. It's going to be like 1060 with tax and we only have $10. But if you aren't restricted with cash like I am for this challenge, it'd be a great flip. What I can flip is these calculators. These calcs uh, are going to be easy, fast flips. Now, between the two brands here that I'm looking up, Casio and Texas Instrument, Texas is a better brand in terms of sales velocity and overall value. Uh, so if you are on a time crunch, focus on looking those up first. These calculators are always a great flip, but I was having a hard time finding more things to sell. So I went over to the DVD section. That is my reliable area for Amazon. But as I said earlier in the video, oh, we're not using Amazon. So my strategy here, which to be honest, is a bad strategy and it didn't work. And I don't recommend you doing this was I just tried to guess good movies. Um, you know, I, there's no sales rank on eBay. You just kind of have to guess what someone wants. And I'm like, okay, The Avengers, that's a good movie. Uh, would someone want to pay six bucks for it? Sure, probably. Uh, all of these movies I picked, I ended up putting back sticks because it's too just like unknown. And I picked up an Easter movie you're going to see in a second. Uh, my, you know, what I thought was going to happen didn't happen. And that's totally fine. This is an experiment. It's a challenge. So uh, what, what I learned from this, don't just try and sell things I think are good. I have to have... Uh, empirical evidence in the form of like uh, a completed sale on eBay or the sales rank or just like you know blog posts everywhere about something popular right now uh, trying to guess what people's interests are generally does not bode well at least not for me again like this is what happened right here I said oh this t-shirt's so cool like look at the giant graphic bright colors no cracks it really is quite nice it's an extra large it's like you know for vintage t-shirts that's great uh, but I looked it up on eBay because that's where I would sell it. And because it's from 2013, that's my my assumption at least, it's not selling because it's not like quote unquote true vintage as uh, some people in the biz say. So I had to put it back. Um, these flannel lined jeans, again, it's summer, you know, end of the season. These are the kind of thing you might I might have bought. Not that pair, it's too expensive, but like this kind of product maybe in fall, but just 
when we have these $10 restrictions, we have to uh, sell things as fast as we can, and out-of-season stuff is not going to be a fast seller. So now over to the warehouse for our purchase. Here is the final haul, right? Not everything I bought, because I bought a lot of stuff for my regular business, but these things are specifically for this $10 to $10,000 challenge. I picked up this at a Goodwill. Uh, I, they use Clover around here, which is like a payment processor, so I had a 25% discount. So this was only, it wasn't $3, it was like $2.50. And so I'm like 18 cents away from my limit. We're just gonna say it's $10. Uh, for, for the sake of the video, but on the spreadsheet, I'll do the actual math and add it up. I'm pretty sure, you know, I haven't been a new seller for a long time, but I'm pretty sure that anyone who has an Amazon account can sell these. And then these DVDs are definitely gated on Amazon. Now, if I were to sell these on Amazon, they'd probably all sell in about a week and a half. These are all relatively low sales rank. This is an Easter one. This is like 40,000. This is like 6,000. This is like 35,000. This is the pilot episode of Twin Peaks, the, the famous TV show back in the 90s. Uh, but I can't use Amazon because of this rule because most people, uh, everyone, is gated for DVDs initially. Uh, I might cross post on eBay. They're on Facebook for now if they don't. So I only have them at six bucks a piece. I paid, you know, 49 cents. I paid, so 52 cents, including tax. It's gonna cost $2.89 to ship each of these. Um, so that puts us at uh, $3 and you know, 40, 40, 41 cents, 42 cents, 41 cents. Um, minus six is gonna be $2 minus the 5% eBay fee. So we're looking at about like 250 profit, 225 profit per DVD, which again is not that great, but very important uh, to get our, our, our capital going initially. These, this is gonna sell for about 30 on Amazon. This one will sell for about $19 on Amazon. This is gonna sell, cool. This is gonna sell for about the 35 on Amazon, but it's gonna take like two or three months. These two, I might sell these today. I might get an email by the end of the day saying, hey, yeah, you sold these two, and then I can take that cash, uh, even though it hasn't been put in my account, the math still works up, where I can take that, you know, the extra money that I made off selling these, uh, and go back to a store and hopefully buy some larger electronics and scale up the kind of things I'm going at. Um, but if you enjoy this kind of stuff, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and you can follow along with me as I build up my little nest egg uh, from $10. Well, now it's like 25 cents. Uh, and this stuff up to hopefully soon $10,000. I know it's kind of a big goal, but I'm convinced I can do it. And if you guys want to watch along, I think you'll learn a lot uh you know doing this with me i'll upload the blog post i will put the rules i'm using uh, i'll put my spreadsheet there and if you guys want to play along you know doing your own whatever challenge you have that'd be awesome too uh, i'll see you guys later again give it a big thumbs up uh and hopefully in a few days we have episode two updating if these so see you guys later